check on the hood. It has this diagram of how the belt is routed. Hello and welcome everyone to our YouTube channel. So today we're gonna to show you how to replace a belt tensioner or 1996 Chevrolet Cavalier. Well, first obviously you gotta open the hood. So we actually noticed the tensioner is a little bit wobbling. So we got a new one from the junkyard before, but he was lazy and he didn't swap it. Then a couple of days ago, the car left my dad stranded in town and ejected the old uh, belt. We got it towed here and we didn't look at it until today. Turns out the belt is not in the car so of course it fell on the ground anyway we got ourselves an old one that we had as a spare if we got stranded on the road and since we are in the middle of nowhere and there are no part stores around here we're gonna put that on until we get a new one so the tensioner is held on with two bolts it sits like this Two fifteen millimeter bolts. Take them out. Put your fifteen wrench. This is the first bolt. So this is the junkyard piece and you're probably wondering why did we get a junkyard piece and a new piece? Well because all the new pieces are Chinese so we've used a lot of them and they last a couple of months maybe at most. So junkyard OEM is better. At least from experience. Maybe you get lucky and the Chinese piece lasts longer than us. Okay guys, so if you're doing this by yourself at your home, uh, before removing the belt, uh, make sure you memorize how it's routed and stuff. But if you're lucky enough, as we are, when your belt has ejected on itself and you only gotta put it back and you don't know how it's routed, check on the hood. It has this diagram of how the belt is routed. Okay, so gonna follow that well uh, I memorized it because we've done it thousands of times okay so go first on the crankshaft like so okay guys so we routed the belt now we just gotta detension the tensioner and slip it on the alternator. So you need two human beings for this job. One to press on the tensioner and one to guide the belt to its position. We 
guys. So with that done, we got the new Tuas tensioner installed and the old cracked ready to die belt on. Now we're gonna crank it up and see if it stays together. Okay guys, so with that done, the backyard fixed this daily driver. So, with that done, make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Comments don't bite, you can't comment, you won't get hurt. Like the video, see you next time. Peace.